there, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your October love reading, where we are looking into what's coming your way for this first half of October in your love life. Stick around towards the end of the reading, Virgo. I will be getting each zodiac signs, feelings, and actions towards you, as well as demonstrating the wish flash paper that is currently now on sale in my Etsy shop. So I will be promoting the flash paper all month. So comment down below your wish, Virgo, and check the next Virgo reading. Your wish may be the one that's granted. So this is for my Virgos. What's coming through for Virgo? All right, Virgo, you have a reconciliation coming through here. Be open to someone returning and wanting to work things out. And you also have getting to know each other. Enjoy discovering new com commonalities, goals, and dreams as you get to learn more about each other. All right, Virgo. Some of you have been in a relationship that has been on the outs. Could have been distance involved between the two of you emotional, mental, physical. Um, I definitely get reconciliation for my Virgos who have been in a connection that has seemingly so been feeling a bit empty. I don't know why I'm feeling empty. Um, others of you, uh, you know what's interesting is I actually just explained how sometimes in reconciliations we do have to get to know the person again. So some of you are absolutely reconciling with somebody that you were once with or dealt with and getting to know the new sides of each other, the side that have grown since you two have been together or been in each other's lives. So let's see here. You are getting reconciliation like energy and getting to know an individual again or on a better level. Some of you, I mean, you're open to new love. Could be an indication for the getting to know each other. There's your card and it's just doing a lot of flying. Okay. Virgo, your lover's oracle is imagine all want unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Yeah, I am strongly feeling like this is an energy that you do know or did once have an experience with, a relationship with, or still in experience and relationship with. There definitely has been some issues or problems in the past. I kind of feel like for some of you, there was a fear of fully reconciling um, because there was almost a fear of did this person grow? Are we going to get better? And a lot of you are going to be surprised that there, it, there has been evolution. And it's almost like you two are getting to know the healed and grown parts of self now if there has been an actual physical separation for quite some time. Others of you, I just definitely see some sort of compromise with your person and just having better conversations with each other and not thinking so negatively towards the connection. So let's see what the tarot has here for my Virgos. All right, Virgo, let's see. We have the King of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups and the Empress. Yeah, Virgo, you definitely have been to yourself. There has been some sort of distance and or um, detachment in this connection. Emotionally, mentally, maybe even physical effort. I feel a missingness of energy. So, you know, you could even live with somebody and there could just be like a roommate or sort of energy. You know how many times I've seen comments like that where it's like, yeah, well, I live with this person and we haven't even talked in weeks. Um, some of you, that could be your energy where you and this person are becoming more physically connected, where there was like a lack of that or an, or an emptiness of that. Let's clarify this here for you, Virgo. Some of you are just becoming more open to growth with this individual where maybe you weren't 
that open to reconciliation. Maybe some of you, this is vice versa. This person was very closed off. I kind of feel like for some of you, there could have been a power play situation here. Well, well, you're closed off and now you're open. So now I'm going to be closed off. It's kind of like waiting for both of your energies to feel the same. It could have taken quite some time. Three of Pentacles, exactly. And working things out in the physical. Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. There it is. So yeah, I definitely see a return of opening up the heart towards somebody. So for some of you Virgos, this has been you and this person really wants to work things out with you, really wants to reconcile with you. And you may be coming a little bit more warmed up to that possibility. Um, or this person is warming up to reconciling with you. It's like things were cold. Like I literally feel in the way to explain it to you with temperature by saying it, it's like warming up. You're, somebody's warming up to you again or you're warming up to another person again Taurus Libra energy there with the Empress uh, but it's definitely going to bring a sense of happiness here where it almost felt like okay is this detachment is this separation going to be it for us is this going to be where we move on from each other or is this going to be what breaks us or separates us forever and it's like no there's something along the lines like that. There could also be mother figure involved here. Maybe, you know, um, family, friends were aware of this connection. There could be a bit of a, there was a kid, a, could, ooh, can't talk. That could have been a situation. There you are, Virgo. Um, uh, could have been a situation around that, a fear of telling the people around you, like, hey, me and this person are trying to work things out, or hey, me and this person are being civil or really could be anything or we're going to stay together. There could have been a situation here where other people knew of the conflict in this connection. And that could have influenced somebody to stay cold or detached. But I get this warming up like energy. So Virgo, that's what I have here for you for the first half of October. Let's see for your second half of this reading. We're going to look into each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards you. But there's a reconciliation. There's definitely a talk here and a lot of warming up to each other again. Okay, so let's see here, Virgo. All the way from Aries to Pisces, please show me each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards Virgo for this first half of October. And then I'm going to show you the wish paper. So we have Aries feelings for you as the world and their actions towards you are the eight of wands. Aries definitely wants to have a new beginning. There definitely could have been a completion of a cycle or an ending between the two of you. Aries definitely wants to have a commun a talk, a conversation about sparking a new cycle. Highly interested in moving this forward. Again, in general. Taurus, feelings for you, page of wands, some sort of communication coming here from a Taurus, their actions towards you, king of swords. You could be dealing with a Taurus who is very open to flirting and that kind of thing, but anything that gives them more vulnerability or love, they're totally closed off on that. Could be a bit confusing with a Taurus. We have Gemini's feelings for you as the two of pentacles and their actions towards you are the queen of pentacles. Gemini's making a conscious decision to be more stable for this connection. Could be finding that your Gemini is more reliable, giving towards you. They may have been all over the place and feel a bit more settled down in this connection. Or maybe they felt indecisive over your placement. We also have Cancer's feelings for you as the Two of Swords and Temperance as their actions. So I feel like Cancer wants to make peace with you. They just don't really know how to go about doing that. I feel like they're being patient. They're taking their time. Or you could just be dealing with a Cancer who's taking their sweet time and opening up their heart towards you. And it looks like they still feel the need to be patient, at least for the first half of October. We have Leo's feelings for you, Ten of Pentacles, and their actions towards you are the devil. Um, definitely could be a family dynamic here connected to a Leo. There could be some sort of toxicity or unhealthiness that's being worked on, or um, could be a little bit of temptation here. Let's see, Leo's actions towards you, Eight of Cups. Leo is finding it hard to disassociate from this connection. Interesting. It's like Leo has this vision of this life with you that they feel like if they walk away from you in any way, shape or form, then that that'll never be something. But it's almost in an unhealthy way. Um, 
So I kind of feel like Leo can't let go of this situation, this connection. It doesn't seem like it's good. It doesn't, doesn't look like it feels that good though. I don't know. That's what I have. Okay. Next we have is Virgo's feelings for you. Virgo, eight of pentacles, strong work focus, their actions towards you, the star. So I definitely feel like this Virgo does have very strong career focus, but they also are interested in putting effort into this connection to see it grow, to see it heal with the star. We have Libra's feelings for you as strength. Libra feels a need to pull back from this connection and or control themselves in whatever way, shape, or form they feel needed to. Their action towards you are the moon. So it does look like Libra's keeping to themselves and how they feel on purpose. They are controlling themselves. Maybe they're controlling emotional triggers towards you or just being too impulsive. They're definitely hiding how they feel as well. And I'm not sure they're going to be that open about it the first half of October. We have Scorpio's feelings for you as the emperor. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio who is a boss-like figure or very focused on their work situation. Their actions towards you are the nine of wands. So um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio who is almost putting up a barrier or a wall because they do have such strong focus or they feel like you're doing that and you're blocking and putting a barrier to keep them out of your energy in whatever way, shape, or form. We have Sagittarius feelings for you, Queen of Wands. Strong attraction here between the two of you. Their actions are the Three of Pentacles. So they want to act on this attraction. They want to show you that you two can get along, get together, and have a good time, as well grow a connection. So Sagittarius is definitely taking action-oriented energy in pursuing you in the physical we have Capricorn's feelings for you as the Five of Wands, some conflict, some insecurity, their actions towards you, King of Cups. So I kind of feel like Capricorn's a little bit um, all over the place with how they feel about you. Either they feel insecure, they feel jealous, or they just feel some type of way inside. But on the surface, man, are they not showing it. Um, we also have... Aquarius feelings for you, Seven of Swords, and their actions towards you are the Hermit. So Aquarius feels a need to avoid this connection either because they um, are not ready to give their heart up or they feel um, possibly um, it's not the best energy for them to give their heart away. Aquarius feels a need to avoid this situation. Seven of Swords is avoidance, so either they feel the need to avoid this situation because of deception um, or they just feel the need to avoid. But with the Hermit, um, the, as their action card, I don't see them taking action. And lastly, we have Pisces feelings for you as the Four of Cups. They feel a bit ignored or rejected by you, or they kind of feel like they're not getting exactly what they want from you. Ace of Swords is their actions towards you. So Virgo, this Pisces may even voice that they feel a bit ignored or rejected or that they're not getting what they want from you. There could be new communication and connection to a Pisces that feels a bit off in this connection. They just look like they don't think they're getting exactly what they want. So it looks like they may voice it. Okay, Virgo, let's make sure everyone's out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, Virgo. And now we are going to demonstrate the Wish Flash Paper that is on sale in my Etsy shop. You can find the link for it down below in the description box. It's called Wish Flash Paper Manifestation Kit. So it's going to come with your paper that you write your wish on. This is going to be a blank paper. So focus on your wish. And um, we're going to use this as whoever watches this video. And comment down below and put on those notifications because... We are choosing wishes for the next Virgo video, and your wish could be the one that's chosen. So definitely comment down below. So in the kit, you get six papers about this size. You get tongs, you get a lighter, you get a bunch of little other spiritual goodies as well. Um, directions, what else do you get? Pen, paper, pencils. So I give you all the tools you need. You just need to write your wish. So focus on it. Focus on your wish. And I'm going to demonstrate the wish flash paper and how it works in manifesting and creating your own magic. So here we go. Virgo, focus on your wish. And there it is. So thank you, my beautiful Virgos, for being here, for watching. 
I truly appreciate each and every one of you so, so very much. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Do not forget to comment your wish. I'm going back to this reading when I do the second half of October and I'm choosing one of y'all to receive a flash paper. So thank you. And if you want to do this on your own, they're on sale in the Etsy shop. So thank you, Virgo. Have a good one. I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.